everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have this week's D&D for Dummies for you guys. This week focusing on the elf. Now, no, the sea elf, sorry. I do just want to quickly say that it turns out that sea elves, much like other elves, can live to be over 750 years old. So that's something to consider if you're making an elf, a sea elf. Now, ability score increase for the sea elf. When determining your character's ability scores, increase one score by two, and increase a different score by one, or increase three different scores by one, and you can't raise any of your scores above 20. Now, creature type. You are humanoid. You are also considered elf for any prerequisite or effect that requires you to be an elf. Size. You are medium. Speed. Your walking speed is 30 feet, and you have a swimming speed equal to your walking speed, so 30 feet. Child of the Sea. You can breathe air and water, and, ha and you have resistance to cold damage, so that's going to be very useful. Dark vision. You can see in dim light in, within 60 feet as, it, as if you're in bright light, and in darkness as if it were in dim light. You discern colours in darkness only as shades of grey, so that's a bit of a problem. Fey Ancestry. You have advantage on saving crows you make to avoid damage or end, the charmed, or end a charmed condition on yourself. Friend of the Sea. Aquatic animals have an extraordinary affinity with your people. You can communicate simple ideas to any beast that has a swimming speed, can understand your words, though you have no special ability to understand it in return. Ugh. Keen senses. You have proficiency in the perception skill. Trance. You don't need to sleep, and magic can't put you to sleep. Um, you can finish a long rest in four hours if you spend those hours in a trance-like meditation, during which you re retain consciousness. Whenever you finish this trance, you can have you, you can gain two proficiencies that you don't have, each one with a weapon or a tool of your choice from the player's handbook. You mystically acquire these proficiencies by drawing them from, from shared elven memory, and you retain them until you finish your next long rest. Languages. You can speak, read, and write in common, and one other language that you and your DM agree is appropriate for the character. The player's handbook offers a list of languages to choose from. The DM is free to modify that list for a campaign, as always. But yeah, that's going to do it for this very quick D&D for Dummies on the Sea Elf species. I will get back to the races soon, I promise. They're just very complicated to read through for me, at least. But I will definitely get back to them very soon. But yeah, that's going to do it for this D&D for Dummies, as I said. So please, like the vid, subscribe to mine and Roxanne's channels. Her link is down in the description. My button is down there. Please click both of those and then the bell icons to get both sets of notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you think of the Sea Elf, and if you'll be playing as them, playing as one in your next campaign, or if you've already played as one, how did it go? Did you like it? And once you're that so please follow me on my social medias. They'll be down in the link tree in the description as always. And of course, Roxanne's website will be below that. And lastly, please do share this video with all your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with Another video. Goodbye.